welcome to Retro Roulette. No molestas la brestas. <laughs> and I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Um, I was never fat. Uh, <laughs> Jason Amherst. Chris. <laughs> and Billy Carter. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, uh, with that being said, what that is is open to interpretation. I'm spinning the wheel. All right, do that then. Hey, everybody. I just got here. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, no, no. This this one's okay. Yeah. Glover and the finger of. I has, bro. Huh. You know, Hasbro is trying to make video games again. Maybe they should bring back Glover. I has, bro. I has none. I has, bro. I I don't really has a bro. Not a brother, per se. I do. Press start. I know Dane has a sister, doesn't he? Might help if my controller was turned on. Yeah. So uh, I think me and Dane are the. Uh, you've been very naughty, game. controller. God Reshare. Oh, God damn it! You got to tell me this before I end pause. Because <laughs> now I have to. Because uh, now I have. Because now I have to explain that we uh, there was an issue that I had to <laughs> stop the recording for. <laughs> Every time my controller turns off, I have to restart the program. Captain America's shield is in the background. I'm surprised they didn't get sued by Pixar for that ball. <laughs> After all, Pixar got really pissed off at uh, that one game, Uniracers, because of the unicycle. Oh, jeez. That looks too much like our unicycle from our short film. Let's play Uniboob. The one nobody saw then? Uh, it was like one of their first short films ever. We mean Tin Toy? I, I don't know what the name of the short film was. I just know that uh, Pixar had a short film with a unicycle. And they were like, you stole that from us. You can't make this game. And that's why Uniracers is apparently as rare as it is. You know, the funny thing is Pixar shouldn't have had enough pull back then because they weren't with Disney at the time. You know what I mean? They were pretty independent at that point in time. Oh, by the way, I'm here. Um, and just so I'm sure Mike probably made a joke like, oh, I'm dead. I'm stupid when I didn't show up in the end. No, it was, it was, it was uh, I'm dead. I've never been fat. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and here you thought I said something mean about you. Because you're a negative you're, Nancy. Is you're an asshole? No. The accident. Because then we're playing Hasbro, and I said I was the only one with a bro. Do you, Hasbro? All right, guess not. Sweet. <laughs> Dane, has, Dane, Dane has sis. That's what he has. That's, I has that's none, true. but... Uh... I, I has none, but I have met has beens. Has beens, me too. I've yeah, met a lot of has beens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One For died and never gave Mike back his money. So. That, that is example, true. Steve Lombardi. I met him. I he would not. Happen. I would never call myself Mister Tip. <laughs> like that's uh, that's always a bad idea. Just. Just the tip. I saw. I saw a T-shirt. It had a bullet on it. It said, "Just the tip." <laughs> so, Glover is. Um, I believe it's considered a hidden gem on the N64. Eh, yeah. Something like that, I guess. Yeah. You know, and, and Hasbro is looking to get back into video games, so it's like, "Hey, Hasbro, do you have the rights to this still?" Re-release this and then put out Glover 2. Oh, not not the only uh, dead brand coming back out of nowhere. Uh, apparently, Infogram is another one trying Infograms? to come back from the dead. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 
Um, where's my camera? Hello? What's next? Sega gonna come out with a game console? My camera fucked. What is <laughs> going on? Alright, just return to castle. I can tell you what, if that ever happened, return. if Sega actually put, put out a game console, I would crap myself. I swear to God I would. I mean, Sega and is I, I, making a return back to gaming in a hardcore way with, like, what, Streets of Rage, Shinobi, Golden Axe, uh, Crazy Taxi, Jet Grind Radio, and a few others, I think? And the thing is, then, if they were to make their own console again, and then make Sega just a Sega console exclusive again, they would sell. And there's a lot I of mean, Sega fan. There's a lot of Sega fanboys out there that would go, "Yeah, I'll buy." They would be there on release date. <laughs> the the biggest problem nowadays is the fact that like the gaming landscape has changed so much yeah. in a way that like Microsoft has kind of gone third party, and Sony shot themselves in the foot by trying to force people into using PlayStation Network. When they're not available worldwide, yeah, yeah. but apparently, uh, apparently, Sony backed they down. They walked that back. Me. Yeah, they walked that back because they realized they shot themselves in the foot. So either the studio behind Hell Divers was playing 4D chess because they knew that Sony was going to play this kind of bullshit thing, and that the fans were going to be on their side, or like, because because like it's just one of those things where you go. It's a little too convenient that, like, they yeah. almost knew that Sony was going to get involved and fuck up a good thing, and that the fans were going to be like, fuck you, Sony! <laughs> I can tell you what. I don't know what. That's great. That's Bye. great, Bill. Thanks. Yeah, that was, that was very, um... That was, that was very zubba gooba it's a word I, mean, I just made uh, up. At least, at least Nintendo is uh, kind of breaking the silence now because they're like, hey, uh, there's actually a Nintendo Direct coming up in June. Wow. In June. Yeah, they, they actually announced one. They also so, said, uh, don't expect any news of the Switch 2. But yes, okay, so there is going to be a Switch 2. And knowing Nintendo, they're going to work on it for a while just to make sure there's no bugs or anything like that, because that's just how they Nintendo said did. announcement before the end of the fiscal year. So announcement before the end of March 2025. OK, so another year before they say anything about it, which then could yep. be another year before it even comes out. You know what, if it's anything at all, like the first Switch's release I'm expecting them to announce it in like freaking January and drop it in March. You know, drop drop it during tax season when people got money and there's no gifting holidays or anything. So people can like selfishly spend money on whatever the hell they want, like a new shiny new game console. Now, stores, from what I've heard, they've oh, they're already preparing for the um the uh scalpers already oh yeah no that like that's one of the biggest things that they probably had to like prepare for in advance with this was stock issues they know from, that there's going to be stock issues so from they're what, like from, from what i've heard from target walmart uh other meyer and other stores <laughs> it's going to be one console per person Good. Fuck them. Because, because they're getting sick and tired of all these scalpers coming in with these thousands of dollars. And I, I know they don't care because, you know, the money, but they've been getting complaints by other, you know, by other customers that come in and just want to get the console and play the games. You know what I mean? And, you know, you get this one butthole that comes in, buys the whole stock and then triples the price up on eBay and stuff. Well, like, you know, you know, which is funny because then they collect dust in that person's room for like freaking a year, you know? 
I mean, remember, these are the same people who will, they'll use bots to scoop up concert tickets that should be very cheap. And then it's like, oh, Taylor Swift tickets, a, a gazillion dollars. You're going to have to take out a yeah. second mortgage. Yeah. Yeah. But at least Ticketmaster is attempting to combat that. To be quite honest, I don't think that tickets should be being able to sold on second market. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, if you got you buy four tickets, you ought to have four people with you and then going, here's your ticket, here's your ticket, here's your ticket. Well, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, if you buy four tickets and you only have three people with you, that's that's kind of weird. You know? Because well, that's quick, well, quick maths. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying that it's going to get to the point where they're going to limit the amount of tickets somebody could buy at once. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you get these scalpers that come in, they're like, give me 50 tickets. Here, I'll give you this. Uh, and they'll be like nosebleed seats. They get the cheapest ones possible. Here, $300 for this $25 ticket. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yep. I'm like, oh, it's sold out. How come that whole section is gone? Oh, uh, that's because of the scalpers. To, because nobody wants to, to be spend fair, the other half of the, the other half of the equation is like credit card companies and shit freaking like buying out huge swaths of the arena for premium ticket access. And then nobody buys it. Yep. Ridiculous. From what I've heard that WWE and like AEW and them, they're like, no, we're not going to allow that. The WWE. Because uh, it don't look good on camera, for one. <laughs> yep. And that's tickets that could have been sold to people outside that wanted them. <laughs> Speaking of uh, WWE, I swear the entire like saga of CM Punk being locked in WWE headquarters for 24 hours, that had to have been a shoot. Why, was. why would that actually have happened, though? I, I, I can't. So basically, they shot the pre-show for uh, uh, Backlash uh, at headquarters uh, rather than send the uh, pre-show people over to France, you know, with everybody else to save on uh, some money. And uh, apparently Punk went into the locker room area, the bathrooms and stuff, to uh, change out of this suit at the end of the pre-show and uh went to the bathroom and when he came out he was locked in the building and there was nobody else around well it's sure a good thing they got bathrooms and showers and food and i mean no, no, there are random fridges fully stocked with shit for no reason all over the place in that building i yeah i feared for my life <laughs> Oh, yeah, you feared for your life being locked up in a nice, cozy building where there's actually oh, no, a... No, no, random, no, that, random that's, man. That's, oh. That, that's that's the joke. Because of, of Tony Khan. Oh, Tony Khan. I feared for my life. Well, I just, like I said, I just imagine CM Punk saying that and then looking directly at the camera like, you, you get it? You, you, you get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that guy, yeah. that guy. Yeah. He, he took all sorts of weird videos throughout the night, posting them to uh, Instagram, including punching both the Andre the Giant and Undertaker statues in the nuts. <laughs> That's oddly specific. Uh, he also, and this is what partially made me think it was a work, uh, because there were a lot of locked rooms and a lot of locked doors, you know, that required like key card access. But Pritchard's um, was open. But Pritchard's was open, which was like a little sus. It's like, okay, of all the offices, that one was wide open. Also, he found a match card for WrestleMania 30 that still had him listed on it. Hmm. 
You know, that could be showed CM Punk versus Triple H listed as the match for WrestleMania 30. Triple H. That, uh, that right there, if that's actually really, you know, a match card that actually really was going to happen. Actually, really? I think. Shut up, Mike. No. <laughs> that that could have been a uh, that could have been a barn burner. A lot of money, too. Yeah. <laughs> you put that out at auction. Imagine some of the the really, really, really uh, obsessed wrestling fans were like, "I gotta buy that piece of paper." Really, really, really. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Me, I'd look at it and go, "It's a piece of paper," <laughs> but. Damn, but, I well, spent a million dollars on it. But it's wrestling history, baby. That is true. What a giraffe of history. What a giraffe. What oh, a sound yeah. does a giraffe make? It goes, hola, hoo, hoo. It, <laughs> it goes, giraffe. Giraffe, like Pokemon. Giraffe. I would, I would rather go, hola, hoo, hoo. Like some kind of really happy yodeler. My, my, my. Oh, so as we're recording this, ladies and gentlemen, it is the seventh of May, and a little over a week ago, uh, my Guardian Games revival came out on YouTube. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I was in and, that. Yeah, he, he was. He was. And, um... It, Along with, uh, George Geef. Yeah. Uh, my main man, George Geef. Great guy. Great guy, that George Geef. And, um, it made more views in 48 hours than the original one did in its entire run, which is just oh, utter and congrats. Congrats. Nice. And Mike got uh, Mike Better got insanity to as opposed dream. to virtual insanity. Yeah. And Mike got to do his dream of playing a southern lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, wasn't written, it wasn't written to be a southern lawyer, but I did my best uh, southern lawyer accent. Well, you know, it's funny. Because when we were getting ready to record it, Mike was like, Hey, so I wanted to try something with this character. Do, do you mind if I just tried it like this? <laughs> Man, they, at this time, let me just say, like, please, just do it like that. That's that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the freaking chicken lawyer from uh, Futurama. I, I was think oh, I was ah, I was thinking oh, that, but a little more subtly. Like I didn't <laughs> want to go full blown foghorn leghorn. Hey, everybody, hair hurt. Well, I said, but, boy, you're pissing, you're pissing too darn loud, boy. <laughs> it sounds like a fry, you're frying me in there. But yeah, it was it was it was definitely a mo- little more subtle. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh dear God! Well, you know, it's, it, it's funny. Um, technically, Mike is the only person who, from the original cast, that was there for the revival, albeit. In a different Mike role. Just in, state, in a different role. Yeah, he took Mark's role. Yeah, I was a narrator, I believe, the first one, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's rare. Ay, ay, ay. Don't fall no, off. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Don't lose your ball. <laughs> Don't lose your balls. You know, you know what? No, what? How you know when, when, when AEW first started, everybody's like, "Oh, finally, we have an alternative." It's like, "Well, you've had other alternatives besides WWE," and then now everybody's like, "AEW sucks. What is this crap?" Now, now it's now, crap. Like bad mouth it constantly now. <laughs> well, mostly, I mean, Tony Khan, mostly Tony Khan and the Young Bucks, but nonetheless, to be fair, the Tony Khan and the Young Bucks are kind of the problem. Yeah. God damn the motherfucking young, goddamn young bucks! I, I fucking hate him. I'm gonna go to Denny's and lick I, my ball. I hate Tony Bunn and Young Cox. What? <laughs> you, you, okay, you know what? You need to go home. Man. Tony Bunn. Oh, all right, all right. Now just, just give, give, give me my hamburger and I'll go home. And give me my. Just want a sprat. 
Tony Bunn and the Young there, Cox. <laughs> I, I seriously want to get like MC Chris on cameo making fun of freaking <laughs> Jim Cornette so bad. Well, because I I was doing that voice to Jace on the phone and he was just finding it extremely amusing. Hash watch sex. <laughs> uh thoughts on Glover, Dan. Um it's a cute game. Seems like it's a little confusing, but I remember seeing other videos of this, and I feel like I've played this before. It's not its not that bad a game. Like I said, I believe it's a little bit of a hidden gem, so it's very nice, very good. Jason? As a rather unique puzzle platformer, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, definitely stands out amongst its uh, 3D platforming brethren. Um, I don't remember ever getting that far in it when I was playing it years ago. But then again, like, I mean, you know, dumb kid playing dumb kid games, you know. Nowadays, I'd probably beat it and be like, yeah, this game is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Billy. Well, from what I can remember of this game, it was challenging, but yet it was fun. It utilizes the controls... Uh, the N64 controller uh, utilizes those well. Um, it, graphically, still to this day, it still looks good. I mean, it. I mean, I could easily see this game being sold today with the same type of graphics for, you know, five ninety nine. But uh, yeah, this was definitely a hidden gem in the day. Yeah, uh, it's it is a it's it's a platformer, but it's a little bit different than just a normal platformer because uh, you get, it's not just about the character you're controlling; it's about the the object that you are trying to guide to safety, which is it's it's a, it's an interesting take. Um, I think the game gets a lot more hate than it deserves, to be honest, um, because there's nothing really wrong with it. It's a fun platformer. Scores out of ten, Dane. Seven. Jason. Eight. Billy. I give it a ten. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give it an eight. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a ten. I'm gonna give it a ten. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Watch me on match dirty, game. He was turning into the dirty bubble for a second. Yeah, Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Same guy. Either that or either that or Hermie the Up. Charles Dustin <laughs> Riley did the dirty bubble voice, so yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, either that or he was turning into Hermie the Up. I want to be a tech We're gonna spin this wheel again and find out <laughs> the hell we play in next. Oh shit! Oh shit, son! Getting a little, you're making me nervous. Is this, is it going to be a, uh oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, to uh, this. Memories. Rest in peace, Factor 5. This, God, fuck, this I, fucking I, game I, is a menace. I, a phantom menace. <laughs> anyway. I fucking love all three Rogue Squadron games. Yep, this was the start of it. There's Factor 5's yeah, logo. These, these games need a freaking, like, remaster compilation. Something fierce. I, I agree. I'm not a fan of, like, games that are, like, flight sims, but this is fucking... Amazing this game, so I'm I'm hyped for this. Uh, it's obviously okay. Yeah, that's fine. High resolution. All right, I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, keep he, it on, keep They it went on defunct in 2009 uh, with two headquarters: one in Cologne, Germany; the other one, San Rafael, California. Wee, woo, woo, wee. Uh, they are most known for the uh, games Lair on PlayStation 3. I don't remember that one. 
uh, the Rogue Squadron franchise, obviously, and uh, the Turrican series. Uh, they also did uh, Divix for games. Uh, okay, let's do this. Apparently, uh, as of 2017, Factor 5 co-founder Julian Egbrecht has uh, announced the company has returned and reacquired the rights to the Turrican franchise. Okay, so what craft should I take with me out to this first one? We got the X-Wing, the A-Wing, the Speeder, the Y-Wing, the V-Wing... And the Starfighter. Because <laughs> uh, episode one. Uh, this is just flying over Tatooine, right? Right. Yeah, so, so I mean... Uh, we just thinking the speeder then, or...? Uh, well, not, because that's the snow speeder from... Uh, oh. Hot. Okay, so maybe so, like A wing or Y uh, X wing. Either the A wing or the X wing. I think I think we'll go A wing. Red one standing I can't, by. I can't. It won't let me. Okay, I guess they want you to do the X wing because it's the first level. That's fine. Let's do it. Red, red two standing by. <laughs> Simply red standing by. Red five standing <laughs> by. Big red <laughs> standing by. Red button Sim standing by. Simply red standing by. Is it in your mind at all? When I ripped off Holland Oats for this song of mine. Yeah, but Yeah, but at least At least I'm still with my band. That's true. Yeah. Actually it's I think simply red broke up actually now that, that that is possible, I don't know. Leading to um, oh no! Actually, they they reformed in 2015. Never mind. And I never knew, by the way, that they actually did rip off Hall and Oates until I listened to it a little closer, and I was like, "That bridge is basically the opening core, the opening verse of I can't go for that." <laughs> you know, I'm going to. Yeah, they only broke up for five years. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to assume that they had permission to do that because probably. I, I sincerely doubt that whatever his fucking name is, that's the singer. Mick, Mick Hucknall. Um, I highly doubt Mick Hucknall is that fucking stupid. Like, yeah. oh, they, they oh, I got an idea. Like, yeah, I got an idea. Let's just let's just lift an entire verse from fucking Daryl Hall and John Oates' song. Yeah. I I love that one of the genres they're listed as on Wikipedia is sophistopop. Also, another thing I didn't realize is that Hall and Oates is not the name of the group. It is Daryl Hall and John Oates. They well, always, anymore. well, yeah, when they were together, it was Daryl Hall and John Oates. They always insisted on being billed by their full names. Hall and Oates was a nickname <laughs> given to them by the fans. It was never their official name. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, that was a today I, I learned. I would appreciate you if you called me by my full name, Jonathan Oates. From now on, we're just going to be calling each all, all, each other by our full names. Isn't that right, Dane Anthony Forgeon? <laughs> that is right, Michael Paul. You're welcome. <laughs> Might be an issue with Jason, though. <laughs> Isn't that right? Because yeah. he's, really he's never said his actual full name on the show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually have a full name. Oh, no. <laughs> that could be a problem. Oh, no. There is there is no middle name, only Zool. What are you talking about, G. Sonathan? J. Sonathan. <laughs> my name is my name is J. Sonathan Aloysius Amphers the Third. I was gonna say it, it, the stage name that you made up. You could put whatever middle name you want in there. To be honest, J. I mean it's 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 not it's not a legal name yet. Yet, you know. Oh, I, I I do plan on getting it changed uh, soon, but I also have to uh, deal with getting a uh, uh, a loan to cover all the repairs. 
in the freaking vehicle. Mm. Oh, I hate cars. I mean, I think I think most of us on this call know Jace's actual name. We just have never said it on a recording. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for privacy the, reasons. The government name. The government name. His, his this isn't name. like this isn't like when we accidentally said Iason's government name. His actual name is Leonardo Sweet Tits Balron. Actually, very real funny. Uh, Jason Amherst's real name is Iason Skull Saber. Strangely. <laughs> well, you know, my name is Iason Skull Saber, and I'm a 45 year old that smokes pot. There's Peter nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with that, but that's exactly how people remember. So I gotta take out those. Uh, I, re I remember. Those probe droids. I remember him for peanut butter. I don't know what you're talking about. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Exactly. Or when I made fun, the first time I made fun of Mr. Bungle, and he went, "You shut the fuck." <laughs> you pick uh, the, the band that did the uh, Zelda theme. Mr. Bungle? No. Remember, you're a Womble. Mr. Bungle? Oh, wait, no, that was the rabbit joint. It was just mis... Uh, it was miscredited to uh, Mr. Bungle and also Mr. Uh, miscredited to System of a Down. <laughs> so, what are you... So you're My Zelda's much bigger than yours! My Zelda can walk right through the door. Yeah, yeah, all, all because the vocalist was like, Link, he come to town. He come to see me. I find the sound out. We gotta took her away. Now the children don't play. And they will really say that they... Hallelujah! All I know is that the, uh, they made a music video for it, and there was a bunch of kids playing Link, Zelda, and Ganon. Yeah. And the kid who played Link did a show that I was in years ago. I'm sure he's... Huh. Yeah, he was a interesting kid. He was Tiny Tim in A Christmas Carol, and I was Bob Richards. Oh, wow. So he played my son. He played my son. He was the uh, whenever I think of uh, Legend of Zelda, I always think of that... Uh... Goofy ass commercial for uh, Link to the Past from Japan with, with the, the Zelda uh, rap. Yeah, Zelda 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 Dance Six. Zelda 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 Zelda. All I think diddle. about is um, the original NES commercial. Wow, I gotta get my hands on these graphics. <laughs> oh man, uh, Nintendo's commercials like varied so wildly back in the day. Zelda no Desensu, Kami Kami no Triforce. Considering the fact that, like, that's the Link that, to the Past in in Japanese, the the Link to the Past Japanese yep. game. Yes. Yeah, true. they didn't want to use the word God in uh, Triforce for, of the for Gods. America. Yeah, because that's Triforce what. It, uh, yeah, gods, I think that's what. Yeah. It's, I believe that's what it literally means. is Triforce of the Gods. Yeah, they're yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> References to God. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Uh, even, even though Link is Catholic, oh no! <laughs> uh, listen, uh, uh, Shigeru, yeah, the Shigeru games. Miyamoto here. I have a pitch for a game uh, called Devil World. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that Which they that do sounds a hilarious. Which they hilarious. do have? Uh, Which they do have now released on the Switch. Devil yep, World that yeah. is on the uh, Switch online. On yeah. yeah, Nintendo uh, a little bit more lax. In their policies now, thank God. I mean, yeah. the fact that you can play a lot of games on Switch uncensored, but they are censored on PlayStation, is hilarious to me. Yeah, says a yeah. lot about Nintendo and Sony's like complete reversal of their practices. But you know, Nintendo's like, okay, this game is going to have nudity and stuff in it. Fine, that's the franchise, but we're not going to make you know do Mario and have Peach run around with her. But boobs hanging out. We're not going to be doing that. Even yeah. though I would like that. Uh, ten years from so. ten years from now. Hey, look! It's uh, Nintendo's releasing a new game called uh, Peach's Button Boobs. Peach's Button so, Boobs. So, uh, yeah, you got to follow the orange cone 
to the targets. <laughs> That's how you fail yeah. driver's ed. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, in this case. <laughs> like that. There we go. Okay, and here here comes the tie bombers. Uh, by the way, I oh, was no, I was following the orange cone. I was just trying to kill the enemies. There were just random enemies in random places that didn't look like enemies for some odd reason. I don't know, like kind of so hard enemy. to make out. Kind of hard to make out with enemies. Seeing enemies. <laughs> you're a, you're a gay little sea enemy. <laughs> Time to take out those tie bombers. Doing my best. Hide with these bombers. Get them. Doing my best. That's Good what we thing can. this is non cannon. <sighs> Fuck me. Mm. What button is my In missiles? The mouth. Is it R? It is R, I think. Many people what? don't know my my middle name. It's my Ray. It's name. Ray. Yes, it's Ray. You've <laughs> mentioned it on the show. Yeah, so a couple uh, times. That's how we know. Yeah, William Ray Carter the third. The third, yeah. <laughs> the third. We always, we always, we always. <laughs> thanks, Terry Funk. We always joke that it's uh, Aloysius, but it's not. Aloysius. <laughs> yeah. Aloysius. I do have a friend where his middle name is Aloysius, though. You're nothing but a yellow scum sucking egg and, sucking dog. You're an egg sucking you look, dog. And if you were to look Pritchard. at this guy, you would go. Richard, my yeah. horse is sick. Oh, it's my that's last why I match. can't show up. It's my last match. Come on now, it's my last match. Until the until the uh, night. Just, until the next time I have a last match. Yeah. They didn't. They well, didn't I mean, book he can't me. do that anymore. No. They didn't book me, so I can't be part of the match. They didn't book me. <laughs> they didn't book me. Jesus, how long are these Star Wars movies going to be re-released? They're like a, I guess until people stop going to see them. Well, uh, it is the twenty uh, fifth anniversary, I think, of uh, oh, Phantom the Menace. Yeah, ninety nine. Oh, there's my missiles. Let's see left. I remember. So I yeah, that's why it got re released. I see. So so we get yeah. to make fun of Jake Lloyd talking about the side of his mouth again. Uh, yeah, that's that's how I do does. it. Jake Lloyd talks out the side of his mouth. If you ever watch he it, does. he does. Jake Lloyd talk out his dad. Oh dad Jesus! Feet. Also, the third uh, of the prequels, when that kid comes up, you know, I failed Master the mission. Skywalker, what, I couldn't you know, tell Master him fast enough. Ah, you too, too much, too much of Moss Eisley or. Moss, whatever that was, got destroyed. Master Skywalker, it was Moss what Isley. are we going to do? Uh, Cantina Band ain't going to be playing any more jizz do, after do, that. Do, 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 do. Good <sighs> no more jizz. Those of you who don't realize, uh, that's the name of the music, jizz. They, they did change it, I guess, uh... As of the book, uh, from a certain point of yeah. view, Return of the Jedi. It is now called Spooge Music. music. <laughs> I, I, I call, it's I call now it Jets. 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 So J. -A -T -Z. Like I, I guess J A T Z. Oh, Jets. Okay. Jets. Oh, we're... Yeah. All right. Now, now I'm everybody's. I have a jazz fusion band I'm going to start called a Boosie Full of Beans. A Boosie Full of Beans? That's right. <laughs> That's just reminding me of like, uh, I saw a picture recently of an AI generated uh, quote unquote recipe post. And it was like, oh, uh, this, this was supposed to be like freaking uh, like caramelized freaking like rice crispy tree things but they were clearly just baked bean bars because because it was an ai generated picture it's like you didn't bake shit those aren't rice crispy treats that ain't salted caramel 
Those are baked bean bombers. A la AI. Baked bean bears. What, what bar I is a baked bean bar? I I can't believe DeviantArt is letting people put AI art on there. It's everywhere. Dixiv has freaking AI art. You have to check a little box if you want to search anything on there and you don't want any AI results. So now, oh. speaking of which, what was going on? Because I saw you were saying Arizona iced tea. Like, what, what, Their what latest happened? flavor, which is at Circle K convenience stores, uses AI art on the can. Oh. It's it's a dragon on it because it's oh. supposed to be like dragon fruit something. Well, I'll tea. be sure to continue to not drink their stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh I, well, you know, uh, fuck that. I mean, like, I, they make God knows how much money between their merchandise and their famous 99 cent cans and the fruit gummies and what's that? You can't afford an artist, so you just AI generated some shit for your can. Thoughts on Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Dane? <laughs> cool. Thank, thank you for that um, background noise there, Bill. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, I'm not. I'm not the Star Wars connoisseur that somebody like Billy or Jace is, but I still appreciate that this is a very good game. Um, it's fun to blow things up and and be a be a Jedi. Yeah, it's wonderful. Alrighty, uh, Jason. This takes the slightly frustrating part that was kind of fun once you got the hang of it in uh, Shadows of the Empire, and makes it the entire game, but even better. Okay, Billy. You know, I like uh, shmups, and this is basically a 3D you one. Know, yeah. shmup, 3D one with uh, missions involved. Uh, people say flight simulator, but me, I think it's more of a shmup, to be quite honest. Uh, Star Fox on steroids. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I, I get I, that. I, do, do, I like anything with Star Wars that comes out that doesn't completely involve only Jedis or Lego. Okay. So, <laughs> but yeah, this know. is I mean, uh, like... this is a fantastic uh, shooting game, uh, flying game. Uh, I'm not really like a fan of like flying sims, but like this one is just more than that, and it's very well done, and it is a classic uh, in 64 games. Scores out of ten, Dane. Eight, Jason. Ten. Billy. Nine. Yeah, I'm going to split the difference and go nine. Good stuff. We have one more game to play this episode. So I'm going to be spinning that wheel to find out what we're playing. Spin it. Show me potato salad. Uh, oh. The stream ended. Balls. Yeah. Uh, that. Don't know how that happened, but all right. Anyway, uh, uh, balls. Oh. Eclaim and iguana. Oh no. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? This is there's a reason I said balls. I wasn't just saying it to say it. Oh no. Oh, this just hit the switch online service. Iguana ball. Uh, I rented this when I had braces first put on in like middle school and uh, boy did it distract me from the pain yeah so is this any any similar to monkey ball probably not no this is a weird ass racing game oh dear it's a racing game that involves grappling Good luck! You're gonna need it. What's over here? 
It's oh, 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 Trying to get a tailspin for a second there. Huh. Iggy's balls! Iggy's balls! Iggy's balls! Tailspin. Hey, look. Hey, look. They're dangling around. It's Iggy's, Iggy's Whoops. balls. Shit. His balls. Oh, shit. Look at his stupid little face. You can you can use your testes to swing up and down. Shit. It is tough. So apparently it was heavily inspired by Bionic Commando. You don't see is his hey, don't see there. Oh, yeah, you don't oh. say. <laughs> there we go. I'm Rocky Squirrel. <laughs> I have an annoying voice. <laughs> what did you? What, what's your name? Rocky Squirrel. Ro Rocket J Squirrel. <laughs> hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my head. Oh, you better not do that. <laughs> The fuck? Oh, oh no, oh, it's Moose and Square. We have to kill them, Natasha. But first, let's I try. don't know who they are. We've never met. I'm I spread the wrong head. I'm June Foray. <laughs> fuck! Oh, I thought I fell. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. Now for something so fun. So apparently... Okay, interesting. Throwback Entertainment is a developer from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Founded in 2006. Um, they own the rights to Iggy's Wrecking Balls, along with Extreme G, Gladiator Sword of Vengeance, and Vex. Hmm. Uh, they purchased a claims library, over 190 titles, Wizards and Warriors, and more. Even the wrestling games? Um, well, obviously they can't re-release the wrestling games because of, uh, licensing, but, um, let's see here, um, Sure, there's a lot of NES. Trick items. style was released on GOG.com. Um, Stream G2 was added to Steam apparently in May 2017. Didn't even realize that. Um, October 2018, Liquid Media Group purchased 65 X acclaimed titles from Throwback for $1 million, including installments in NBA Jam. AFL Live, All-Star Baseball, and NFL Quarterback Club, as well as some Taito titles that Acclaim published outside of Japan. Later, really? Later, dude. Later, dude. <laughs> Later, dude. Um, let's see. So what were some of the things that they picked up? Um, Bubble Bobble? Later, which is weird, because I think that Square technically owns that, because they own Taito. Uh, and the video game adaptation of Street Fighter the movie. Oh yeah, because everybody wants to play that. Uh, Liquid Media does not own the actual rights to either franchise. They only have access to the SKUs, because they were published by Acclaim. Uh, Wizards and Warriors is owned by Rare, uh, owned by Microsoft, licensed to acclaim to release in North America and Jalico in Japan. Uh, Throwback owns all branding trademark interests to the franchise. Rare owns the copyright to the original titles. Huh. Boy, this is complicated. Copyright law. Nobody gets it. 
Yep. This is why, like, freaking games that are abandoned wear and shit like that, like, should just be freaking, like, free game for other people to Public just domain. release it. Yeah, like, you know, uh, up until recently, Gex should have been public domain for somebody else to make a new Gex game with. But no! But no, we're getting, we're getting Gex freaking trilogy. HD. I can't wait oh. to see that. Alright, pick your character. My god, they all they all look like uh re like really ugly emojis. <laughs> they predate emojis. Or PNGs. I'm gonna be Rob Ert. <laughs> Rob Earth. Look, Rob it's an Earth. NFT. Oh, so then just right, just hit right click on it and save. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm a tech savvy guy, and you know and all that, but I really don't get NFTs. I don't get it. What's the point? Uh, uh they're pretty much dead. Good. I was gonna say, I have a it's, short it's a lift, picture of a. It's a picture of an ugly monkey, but it's going to be worth a bazillion, kikillion, barbarian dollars. Trust me. Because because somebody said so. Yeah. So if they it's, not, it's funny. Mind you, that... mm -hmm. I mentioned Uniracers, and this kind of is a lot like Uniracers. Uniracers is probably better, though. No, yeah, no, this has a, whole, no, a lot no. more personality, at least. I remember Uniracers. I should have bought the game back in the day, but I didn't. I mean, Uniracers, you're just a unicycle. At least these things are marketable balls. Eh. What did you balls. suck my marketable balls? <laughs> I mean, they, they look like Bondlins or Mad Balls or those other toys that look like faces on balls. I have marketable nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? I hate those movies so much. Because you wish you were Ben Stiller, that's why. You're just jealous. See? He's not saying anything, so that, that, that's the truth. <laughs> what? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, penis. Balls. You said, you said I don't like those movies. Something and about I, something about Ben Stiller. And I said you're just jealous because you're you can't be Ben Stiller. That that's what I said. I'm more jealous that I'm not his dad. I mean, you would be dead. Yeah, you know, but yeah, his dad was funnier. <laughs> that's true. Ben Stiller's had his moments. Ben Stiller. Boonstra? He hasn't been in anything lately. Goosefraba! <laughs> Goosefraba! Adam Sandler movie! What? Hour three, two laps. What was the last movie Ben Stiller was in? Hmm, let's see. Was it Zoolander 2? No, apparently he was in a movie called Bros, which was in 20... 22. Hmm. Do 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 ah oh I thought I had fucked up. <laughs> oh get fucked Iggy. Yep, I did. I mean I did the Iggy. I, I did, did Iggy. I did Iggy. This is an interesting racing mechanic. It is. I like it. It's fun. I was gonna say it's pretty. It's pretty groovy. I I am a fan. Yeah, this, it doesn't suck. It's really unique. Oh, you made me <laughs> grab you, you son of a bitch! Fuck off! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I got, I got screwed. Were yeah, I got fucked there at the end. Door was open. Son of a bitch. 
I'm still in the lead. Yeah, he's still got the most points. I got the lead on points. I'm good. That's all that matters. It's all that matters. Well, if he has Carl. Oh, you're yeah. in the first piece of shit. It don't matter. Jump at in dot com. Got it. Yeah, it don't matter. None of this matters. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Eh, eh, Come on, eh. baby. Come on. Oh, baby. that's armored. I can't jump it. Get out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. Fourth place. Screwed by a grappling hook. Yeah. That was a very short race. Still in first. Yep. Uh, I think I won the, the cup for this circuit. Nope, there's still one more. Tower 5. Stream. Up, 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 up. Oh, what? I must have fallen off. That's armored. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Uh, I think, yeah, I fell off. Falling off did not help me. Ah, damn it. I've probably lost now. <laughs> That's kind of tough. Thoughts on Iggy's Wrecking Balls, Dane? I liked it. It has interesting mechanics. I cannot um, believe I'm still hey, in the bad. lead. Still second. Oh, I thought I was still in second. the lead. Second. Yeah, I'm in second. Not bad. Dropped down by three it's points. A solid, it's, a, oh. it's a hard game, but it's not like unfair hard. Cheat menu. Oh, shit. Pretty... <laughs> I did not oh. know. I did not know That's this was here. Anyway. <laughs> What were some of those cheats? <laughs> that was that was my. Uh... Okay, all characters, all worlds, mix and match, level select, pencil, fat mode, tiny mode, dark city, ice mode, slime mode, just bomb, sudden death, bomb physics, no weapons, roll mode, bomb pickups, blue balls. <laughs> and that ain't all. <laughs> There's a blue ball setting apparently. Interesting. <laughs> so that the, those <laughs> balls don't have stats. That's right. I've had that setting turned on most of my life. No. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the game, Jason? Yeah, this this is a fun little twist on racing. I, I mean, uh, you can't go wrong with a little bit of this. Uh, if, if you got the Switch uh, expansion pass, give it a shot. Billy. He must have left the room. He must have left the room. Uh, yeah, it's a little fun. It's a fun little racing game. Uh, it's and it's not the style of racing game you you're probably used to, but it's different in that it's fun, and it's it's a all around another great game. Scores out of ten, Dane. Eight. Jason. Nine. I'm gonna give it a nine as well. On this edition of the show, we played Glover, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, and Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Best game of the episode, Dane. Ooh, this is a tough one, because these were three really good games. Very um, much so, yes. I'm going to give it to Star Wars. Okay, Jason? Oh, God, these are all bangers. Yep. Uh, my bias is going to show a little bit, though, with... Uh, me going with uh, Star Wars on this. I uh, I'm gonna divert a little bit, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick Iggy's Wrecking Balls. That was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, uh, Billy picks farting or shitting or whatever he's doing right now. Mm, uh, <laughs> in any event, yeah, and then but, shitting. Uh, no glove, no love. Oh. oh. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this edition of. Uh, Retro Roulette, if you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Gio, and Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time 
on Retro Roulette.